Through this tutorial, you will learn about some of the basic structure tools found in Microsoft Word 2010. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use tables, lists, and page breaks to add to the organization of your Word document. Tables allow you to structure information that could otherwise be complicated or cluttered. It is important to make sure your tables are very clear about their purpose and structured in such a way as to provide information quickly and easily. Tables should only be used for tabular information and never as a shortcut to formatting or positioning objects on your document, as this method can render your content completely unreadable to a screen reader or other devices. When inserting a table into your document, use the table tool provided with Microsoft Office. Do not attempt to create a table manually through line tools or objects. How to create a table. Select Insert. Select your dimensions. Input your information. Once you have created your table, make sure to mark table headers, attach an alternative text summary, and provide a caption to deliver even greater accessibility. How to define table headers. Place your cursor in the header row of your table. Click on Design under Table Tools. Under Table Style Options, select Header Row. Lists allow you to organize data on your page, making it easier to understand quickly. Lists can be very beneficial, however, if they are created incorrectly, they can actually make a document less accessible. Use real lists. Do not attempt to format a list manually. How to create a real list. Select Home. Select Paragraphs and then Bullets or Numbering. Select the down arrow. Select your formatting. The Enter key is frequently used to push text onto a new page in your document. The result of this method appears to be exactly the same as using the page break function, but it is actually less accessible for assistive devices. Every time you hit the Enter key, a character is added to your document. This character is invisible to the eye, but picked up by assistive devices. To avoid any possible complications, use the Page Break button anytime you want to move on to a new page in your document. How to insert a page break. Select Insert. Select Page Break. This tutorial has gone over some of the basic structure tools that can be used to ensure your Microsoft Word content is accessible. Thank you for watching this Microsoft Word accessibility tutorial.